If we take the product report with alerts and refresh, we'll find that we trigger the three alerts. Now the three criteria are hard coded into the report effectively, where we could go that little one step further, and we've seen it in use already when we did the parameter field, is we could give the user a choice of the criteria as what effectively is classed as a low stock and what effectively is classed as a low weight item. So instead of us deciding that low stock is one or under and low weight is 300 or under, we give that decision back to the user by the use of parameters. So the first step is to give them a parameter field. So the first parameter is low stock. It's going to be a, a number field. And the prompting text is, please supply your low stock threshold. Okay. We then need a second parameter field, which is going to be the weight. And again, it's a numeric value. And the prompting text is, please supply your low weight threshold. Okay. So that creates our two parameters. What we now need to do is make use of those parameters in our triggers. So we go to report, alerts, create or modify. The low stock needs to be now driven by our parameter field. So we go to edit, condition. At the minute, we're saying where the item quantity is less than one and the cost is not null. Let's remove all that back to there. So remove everything but the item quantity and say so that if the item quantity effectively is less than or equal to our low stock parameter field, then that will trigger this alert. We check that, that's fine, save and close. Now what we could do with as well is actually customizing the message so that it includes the low stock threshold. So we'll say, please, items are below your threshold of close speech marks, concatenation symbol, low stock, and we'll put the word items on the other side. Notice the spaces there before the speech marks and there before the speech marks so that value has effectively some breathing room between two bits of text. Now, if we do the X2, we'll find there are no errors found. Save and close. So we've customized the message and allowed the condition to be triggered by a parameter field. Okay, so please supply your low stock threshold. Let's say three. Three is now low stock. Okay. Refresh, prompt for new parameters. We're going with three, we okay. And we see the trigger there for low stock. A customized message. These items are below your threshold of three items. Double click and we'll see the items that all have less than four effectively. So that's a lot of them. So we could do the same with the low weight items. So let's report, alerts, create, low weight, edit. So the condition is now not that their weight is less than 400 but their weight is less than our weight parameter field. Save and close. Let's customize the message as well. Items below your weight threshold of and the weight parameter field. No errors, save and close. So we have a customized message driven by the parameter field and the condition itself is driven by the parameter field. Okay, what's our low weight threshold? Let's go for 400. Okay, close, refresh. Now we could use the current parameter values and they're the ones I've supplied, 403 on the quantity. And we see the low weight items, items below your weight threshold of 400. The only small issue now that remains is because we're concatenating a numeric field with some text fields, it's retaining the two decimal places, which we don't need. This just needs to say these items are below your threshold of three items. We don't need that 0 0.00. And the same here for the weight. We don't need the 0 0.00. 
So we go back to the alerts and we go to edit and we go to the message control. So here we've got the parameter of low stock. We need to do a few things really to lose those decimal places. If we turn the field into a text field, then we can actually start to manipulate its string. Now I'm really only interested in those characters that are the left of the decimal place. So if I use the left function on my now converted to text parameter, comma, the left function takes the name of the field, which I have there, comma, how many spaces from the left you require. Well, I don't know how many spaces from the left I require, but I do know I need to take off three characters off the right. So what we'll do is we'll figure out how long our text field is. So what I actually need to do is convert the parameter back into text again. So I need it to go to text, figure out the length of it, and then take away three characters, and that will finish off my left function. So the left function here takes the first parameter, which is the field to manipulate. Second parameter is how many characters from the left to take. We're working out how many characters from the left to take by effectively working out how many characters there are and taking off three. And that will therefore lose the point zero zero. So let's save and close. Okay, close, refresh. We'll keep the current parameter values. And we can see it then says blow your threshold of three items, not 3.00, but three items. If I refresh and take some new parameter values, and let's say have a 10 in there, just so that we've got more digits than the one. Okay, and we then see these items blow your threshold of 10 items. And then we can do exactly the same with the low weight items message. So it's back to report, alerts, low weight items into the message and there's our low weight so we'll need to do the same again convert it to text then use the left function to take so many characters off the left but we have to figure out effectively how long it is so use the len function and take away those three characters from the end that we don't want a little x2 to make sure that's fine save and close okay close refresh and it now says items below your weight threshold of 400. So even if we were to up that to a four digit weight, okay, we then see below your item weight threshold of 1500, so 1500. So that's using parameters to not only control what effectively is being classed as each of the alert values, but also we're using it inside the message so that the message makes sense to the end user.